Now, nice to have you back, Matt, and today you're sharing some more real estate agent secrets. Thank you all. Let's start with what is the biggest wow factor when buyers, well, potential buyers, walk into a house? Yep, yep. So a really cool thing to do when you're selling your house um, is to, um, some people have problems thinking of ways to use the house. And to, you know, so it's a really cool thing to come up with some really cool ideas, um, ways to use different spaces in your house. So dressing it is really, really important. Um, you know, on our first home, there was a space under the stairs that was a nothing wee space, very unusable. Um, they turned it into this really cool little kind of kid zone with toys in it and a play area. And so by doing that, they, they, added, they added real value to the property. You know, so you've just got to think of ways to just be creative and think of ways that people could potentially use the different spaces and in your house. And utilise those bits that might just be waste space otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. So get your creative hat on. Have a bit of fun. Okay, what's the biggest put off for buyers? Biggest put off. So, you know, I've sold properties, you know, that sell for 400,000 right up to in the multi millions. Um, and the one big thing that would stick out across all of those price ranges would be um, if a property has been badly maintained over, over a length of time. Um, you know, you can put a lick of paint over here and there outside, but, but if you haven't actually looked after the property, it's really going to come through. And it could yeah, mean how can that. How you tell that though? Well, you, get, you can get builders, so you can just, there are little places where you can tell, um, you know, where the board's kind of rotten here and there and stuff like that. And those signs mean that, that, mean that someone might have to spend a considerable, considerable amount of money on that property. You know, repiling, piles of rotten, all that kind of stuff that, that comes from bad maintenance. Um, so you know, if you're not a if you're not a developer, if you're just a Joe bloke, you're going to buy a house. Something like that would really scare would really scare you off because you don't know how much you're going to have to spend on this property. Okay, it's like a poorly maintained car, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. You want yeah, to see yeah. the service history, once, don't you? Once you scratch the surface, you know it's. Um, so do you take that into consideration for the for the price you're going to get on your house, or do you invest into actually doing that maintenance? Well, that, that's probably more of like a, yeah. I mean, you could do stuff before if you haven't maintained a property for a long length of time. You know, you're kind of in that situation now. I would put some money into fixing right. some stuff up, absolutely. But I guess my advice to people now would be, if possible, if you've got a rental property, or you know, would be to try and maintain it just to a particular level. You don't need to go crazy, but just kind of keep it up to, you know, just look after it. Okay. Yeah. Good advice. And just yeah. finally, if you're in a home right now and you're thinking, should I renovate it or should I sell it? What should you be looking at doing? Oh, good question. <laughs> we get these people, every single open home I've ever done, yeah. we get people asking this question. Um, it's a real personal thing, you know. Um, I mean, oh, you've got to go to your, you know, your architecture tradies, obviously, and get quotes for it. Um, You've got to take the time into consideration, the eight months to a year it's going to take to do the renovation. The grey hair. Yeah, yeah exactly. The relationship. You know. <laughs> yes. um, but, you know, with the, the Auckland market, the way it's been lately, you know, do-ups are almost going for as much as done-ups. So, I mean, I sell a lot of stuff in, in, in central suburbs, and honestly, half the time you would be mad to actually put the money into, into doing a house up for what you could actually get an already done-up one for. Okay. Right, yeah. yeah, and that's a good place to leave it, I think. Great advice. Thank you, Matt from Barfoot and Thompson.